In the late 1960s, a wave of German bands and musicians emerged intent on creating new sounds and exploring new technologies. As an artist, you have to create something new, your own way. You have to create your own art. We were pretty much aware that we weren't raised in the Mississippi Delta, or we weren't raised in Liverpool. Our generation had to come up with a counterpoint to that. If you want to come up with a new sound, you want to touch new ground, you have to use new material, or at least change your perspective. Using machines open up another door for this uh, new quality. So many musicians, so many bands, so many uh, influences, so uh, uh, this just can happen once, I think, yeah. It, it was the Blütezeit, the blooming, yeah, of, of German music uh, at its peak. This film not only explores the various artists of this experimental movement, but also focuses on the group whose music would influence so much of modern electronica, Kraftwerk. Obviously, the, the aesthetic investment was into something completely different from what all the other bands were into. All the other bands were into, was the, was the most different means, but they were all into experience. And Kraftwerk was not that. It was obviously about distance to, to music. It was, there was something conceptual, there was something humorous, there was irony. The difference in Kraftwerk and the other bands, and the other bands wish to totally disassociate themselves from the past and the, German, the Germans' history. Kraftwerk were different. They were willing to embrace the past. In so doing, they actually, in the long term, they invented a new kind of aesthetic that, that, that people around the world could really relate to by using humour and experiment and brilliant understanding of, of electronic sound. They basically remade German identity and made it something to actually look at.